Do we have a biryani disaster yet again from Mamuti? If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Unda review. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and today I'll be talking about the latest Malayalam film, Puru, hopefully that's correct, directed by the debutant Rathina, starring Mamuti, Parvati and many more. Now the film is out on Sony Live and you know my thoughts on Sony Live. Yet again, they found a new way to disappoint me. Check out this. The film is on the home screen, but with the Hindi version. And if you try to change the language, this is what you get. How does someone understand which language is which? At least it's added in English. If not, put in bracket original with the language it's made in. But no, Sony Live doesn't want that. They want the users to suffer. That's what they stand for. Now I was actually able to guess the languages, so it was sorted for me. But what about someone who's new to this, who wants to watch it in the original language, but will end up watching in Hindi? By the way, I have no idea how the Hindi dub is. But at the end, I was able to watch the film. Now the film was definitely very different than what I had expected. The film is a slow burn. It takes its time. There are many scenes in the film where we are just in the moment. There is no spoon feeding. The film only gives you little little information and you have to piece it together to understand what's happening. The film was a character drama, which I really enjoyed. It was about Mamuti's character and oh my God, what a performance by him. You know, he was very disciplined, very rigid, definitely had OCD, very overprotective about his kid, somewhat delusional also until the end reveal. I will come to that. And all of this is depicted so well by Mamuti with very subtle movements and expressions. And the performance was elevated by amazing background music the sound design and the editing. Visually, the film doesn't strike you that much. It's all about being in the moment with the character as if we are there present with them and maybe get into their psyche, what they are going through, what's happening in their mind. Now, definitely Mamuti's character Kuttan is manipulative, being a police officer, doing some shady business as well as with his kid. Whenever he thinks he's losing control, the emotional blackmail he does. And the film also portrays the toxicity, the authority he wants to have on his son, similar to how his dad had over him, the prejudice of caste, creed, color he's carrying, he's passing on to his son. Don't interact with those people. It's good if you share something, you'll become a better human. But that doesn't mean you take from someone also. And I was pretty much hooked to the story. I wanted to see where will this character go from here. And then came the ending. Now coming to the issues, I felt Parvati was just wasted in this film. You could have literally casted any actress. Like, it didn't even matter. There was nothing for her to do. And you know, when you see Parvati in a film, right, you expect there will be something, you know, given to her. There'll be a lot more to a character. That's why you need an actress like Parvati to pull it off. But there's literally nothing. And that's a shame. Now I'll be getting into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, pause, go watch it and come back. Now there was this angle of the stage play within the plot as well as, you know, metaphorically. At many moments, the lines from the play were overplaying the visuals of the film in a way, creating some connections. Now, personally, I have no idea about that play. This is the first time I was hearing about it. And also the subtitles throughout were, you know, weird. Sometimes they were off. And I've said this before also for Malayalam films, sometimes they use words that I have no idea what they mean in English. So it really becomes pretty hard to follow. And maybe that's the reason I couldn't really connect the play to the narrative of this film. My vague understanding is that, you know, the king is going against the nature in the play. And similarly, you know, Mamuthu is going against people from different religion, different caste. He's oppressing them. But at the end, the forest will fight back one day. And at the end, we do get that. So let's Let's come to that. First of all, biryani disaster. If you don't know what that is, if you haven't seen my Unda review, it is basically when you are having a delicious, outstanding biryani. You're just enjoying its flavor. It's so good. You are just gonna finish it, just one spoon left, and you want it to be amazing, right? So you prepare for that last bite, the last spoon of it, because that's the most important one. You especially save a piece of meat for it. You know, you want all the flavors to come together at the end. And when you have it, and you're chewing it, and suddenly, a spice comes in and destroys the whole flavor. And you cannot do anything because biryani is over. And because of that last bite, the whole experience is ruined. That's what I call the biryani disaster, and that's what happened with this film, as well as Unda. If you relate to that, like, share, subscribe. When the film ended, I was so confused, like, really, what happened? Like on Wikipedia, it says the film is two hours, two minutes, but on Sony Live, it's one hour, 56 minutes. I'm like, wait, did they cut out something? Am I missing something? But no, that's where the film ends. Honestly, like I was wondering what's the point of this ending, you know? First of all, you bring a character we just saw two times throughout the film at the end and you reveal, oh, he's the villain. He's the antagonist here. He was trying to kill him. And then we are getting flashbacks with him and you want us to care about that when we only saw him twice before. Makes no sense. As I said, from the play metaphor, 
deeper connection maybe it makes sense but apart from that it makes no sense to me like throughout the film i was thinking you know he is maybe delusional maybe he has schizophrenia he's just imagining things you know no one is trying to kill him and that could have actually led to so many different things but they chose the worst one possible oh someone was really trying to kill him and it's actually this guy whose father you know he took and you know he was in jail for 8 years and then he died and basically he was not a good police officer but throughout the film we already got that he misuses his power he arrested his sister's lover you know and put him in jail and beat him up but at the end what's the point of bringing that back as a villain like the moment he kills parvati and her husband and then goes back to his kid and says you know tomorrow something will happen i am not a bad guy i thought that was a perfect ending possibly at the end it became a story of honor killing but out of nowhere you bring this character and then you establish oh there was a back story with him that's why i was trying to kill him throughout the film that itself raises so many questions you know but of course the film doesn't answer that it just ends and then we had a whole subplot of you know with jamal and they are doing some business and all of that like The film was so good when it was just about him. You know, it was a character drama. We were getting to know just about him, how he sees the world. And suddenly you brought these, you know, different things and just ruined the ending. As I said, Biryani disaster. And the sad part is that people will remember this film for its bad ending, not Mamuti's performance and the whole film before that ending. At the end I would say Mamuti gave a memorable performance, but the writing of the film couldn't give it a satisfactory ending. Through channel membership, you can support this channel and help me continue this journey ahead and in turn you get various perks to no more click on the join button for more information check out the community page so guys that's the video thank you for watching if you like this the thumbs up button share this video in the comments your thoughts if you haven't subscribed yet check out the videos if you like them too do go subscribing and i'll see you next time